here and today we are going to be unboxing the AirPods Pro 2. I'm so excited to unbox this because if you are subscribed to the channel or if you're not, I review a lot of Apple products like MacBooks, iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. But I never really got my hands on AirPods because I didn't think any of them were really worth getting up until the AirPods Pro 2. And because I told this to my sister, she kindly gifted it to me for Christmas. So I'm really thankful for her and huge shout out to that because we are ahead of schedule since I was actually going to purchase these later down in 2023 but we got them we're going to unbox it and near the end of the video I'm going to review it as well after using it for about a week and going over why I don't think any of the airpods were really worth getting up until this one y'all this is my first airpods unboxing I just realized this this is my first ever airpods all of that that's huge okay let's get into it Let's finally unbox this. I am so excited. It's about time. So let's go. Woo. Okay, so these are just the standard pamphlets. Just how to use the AirPods, connect them, more about the case. This year they have new gestures where you just slide and swipe, but I like how you can control the volume this way as well. So I'm really excited. Oh yeah, now it's compatible with MagSafe charging too. Here they are. They're so cute, oh my gosh. Also at the bottom now they have speakers. So if you lose it, you can easily find it through a sound. What else is in here? Ooh, a charger to charge them. What? Oh, okay. And this year they also come with different size um, earbuds as well. So let's open that. Actually, let's open the AirPods first and then I'll open everything else. I think in the past they never um, gave you these so that's one of the big reasons why I didn't get airpods as well because if they don't fit comfortably I'm not happy oh my gosh oh don't connect yet hopefully it's still recording I'm using my iPhone to um, record the overhead right now but ooh, look at these the case is pretty nice and sturdy. It's good quality. I like how the stem is much shorter. In the past, what I didn't like about it was how long the stem was and it just didn't look nice at all. So overall, I really like them and they, I really like the simple design. So let's wear it. So they fit pretty snug, but I do think I need to change the earbuds for a bit and um, see how it fits because it doesn't fit as snug as my Samsung Buds. My Samsung Buds really fit in my ears and I have small ears as well. So that's why it's re I'm really picky when it comes to earbuds. We have three different size earbuds, one large, medium, small. I'm gonna change mine to the small one. All right, or extra small. How do I take these out? I'm like scared to break them. Uh, let's see. I may need to watch a video on this. Guy, guys, I'm actually struggling. I am reading the comments on YouTube and saying like, it's not a gentle pull. It's almost like I'm so scared to rip kind of pull. And I'm actually so scared to rip it right now. The Samsung Buds are so, the Samsung Buds are so much easier to change the earbuds, the ear tips, but okay. What the frick? Guys, so because of my nails, I couldn't get a good grip and my sister actually just yanked it, like yanked it out. So here are the earbuds without the tip. So yeah, I'm gonna go put on the extra small ones. So this is just a little close up. So here it is, hopefully. Uh -huh. 
The extra smalls fit so much better than the mediums. They are much more snug in my ears. I don't feel like they're gonna fall out or anything. However, initial thought is my Samsung Galaxy Buds fit a lot nicer and more snug because it has a little wing. I'll show you guys. And in the review section, I'll go more into detail comparing the two. But overall, really good. I have no issues. Right now, as I'm talking, it sounds so echoey. The Samsung Galaxy Buds don't have noise cancellation. So it's gonna be interesting testing that out in the gym. My sister says it's the best when you're working out because you don't wear, you don't hear anyone else around you working out and you're almost like in your own zone. So yeah, let me show you a close up. So again, I love how small the tips are because on the old ones, they were massive and I didn't like the look of it, but I like the look of these because they're a lot smaller and more subtle. All right, so now it's time to set up the Spatule Audio. Um, when I first did this with the front view, it honestly wasn't that difficult, but what got really difficult was setting up my right ear. For some reason, I couldn't get it on the first try and it took me like at least five times to retry setting up the right ear. And honestly, I think it's because I didn't pull out like my hair all the way back. As you can see, I just tucked it behind my ear and I'm gonna speed this up. I sped it up like 500 times. And honestly, the best way to do this if you have long hair is to tie your hair up and try to move as much hair away from your ear as much as possible. And this is where you're gonna be able to get it done. I don't know why I struggled so hard. Y'all can see me trying so many times and I'm halfway, but I still can't get it. I felt so dumb, but I finally got it. Then I did my left ear. Y'all, that was so easy. It worked in like a couple seconds. Look at this, literally nothing. And then the special audio was set up. This first time I am using the Spatial Audio, I only have my MacBook camera right now. So let's see. Setting it up was way too much work for my right ear, but the left ear was so much easier. Ooh. That's what I'm listening to right now. So good. Oh wow. Can you say something? Hello, 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 hello. hello. I can't hear you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just recording on my iPhone now. So I just turned on spatial audio and it sounds so good. It, I, you can really hear like all the chords, you can hear all the background instruments, but the vocals come out so clear and crisp. It truly sounds like I'm in a studio or some sort of studio type of um, space listening to the song. The quality is so good. So spatial audio, I highly recommend. I didn't think it was going to be that good and clear. So yeah, overall, really good impressions with um, the audio quality. Alright guys, I am currently outside doing my morning walk. I'm recording on my AirPods, which my hair is covering. I just want to test how the quality is. Let me know in the comments what you think. But yeah, with the active noise cancellation, you don't really hear much in the background. You hear a little bit of, you know, cars driving if your music's low. But honestly, it's so minute that it's not a big deal. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. But okay. All right, guys, it's been about a week and a half since I've been wearing the AirPods Pro 2. So first, let's talk about why it's been taking me so long to upgrade to the AirPods because honestly, I've had the Apple's ecosystem for a while now. I have the Apple Watch, MacBook, iPhone, all of that stuff. But I never really got my hands onto the AirPods because up until the AirPods Pro 2, 
I honestly didn't think it was really worth the money. And a while ago, my boyfriend got me the Samsung Buds Plus, I believe. And at the time, they were really good, honestly. They fit my ear perfectly well because I honestly have really small ear holes. And so the Samsung Buds Plus were perfect since at the time, they came with five silicone tips and AirPods didn't have any. So I knew if I was gonna spend money on the AirPods, which was pretty pricey, I wanted to fit perfectly or have the option to change the tips at least. Also, the design of the AirPods back then was so ugly because the stem was so long and looked weird. But I honestly loved the style of the Samsung Buds. Plus, the color was so pretty. I wish AirPods would come in multiple colors other than white. I honestly don't know why they don't. But anyways, that's another video or a conversation. But nonetheless, at the time, I really did love my Samsung Buds. I loved the color. I loved the fit. The audio was perfectly fine. Although it wasn't, you know, top-notch quality like other pro earbuds, it got the job done. And at the time, I didn't really edit as much as I did now, so the lag I experienced with the Samsung wasn't that big of a deal. Now, for the past couple of years, I have been editing a lot more. I honestly spend like 80% of my time editing. So it was really a downside that I couldn't wear my Samsung while I was editing since there was a noticeable lag of a couple seconds. Since I am using Samsung with Apple, it's not gonna pair perfectly Perfectly. My boyfriend is a whole Samsung guy, so he doesn't experience any lag, but I do. So I knew eventually I would have to upgrade to the AirPods, but I just didn't really find the rush to upgrade it. But my sister kindly gifted them to me for Christmas, so it saves me the trouble of buying them. So huge shout out to her for gifting it to me for Christmas. It honestly made my day. And I was able to make this video. That's really just the backstory why I never got around to upgrading to the AirPods Pro. But when these got released and I was reading all the features, I was talking to my sister saying how these are the ones to get. Like I am actually going to make the jump to get the AirPods Pro next year. This was like 2022 when I was talking to her, but because she knew I really wanted it, she got it for me for Christmas. So even if she didn't buy the AirPods for me, I would have have gotten it for myself anyways, because I knew these were really good. So for those who didn't know, there's a speaker in the case. So if you lose it, you can actually find it through the Find My app. And I honestly thought that was a game changer. Plus they finally came out with like five silicone tips to change the size. So I obviously have the extra small. And first impressions after wearing it for about a week, the fit is fine. Honestly, it doesn't fall out. I've gone to the gym with it. I've walked with it. And you know, obviously I edited with it. I never had it feel like it was gonna fall out of my ear. But when you're comparing it to my Samsung Buds Plus, actually, let me go get it. I honestly still love the fit of the Plus because the tip is so much smaller and it has a wing. So let's see here. This is what this Buds Plus looks like. And I can grip it really nicely because of the wing. And the tip is really small compared to the AirPods. So here it is. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Oh, Siri. But yeah, this is what it looks like with my Samsung Buds Plus. I still love the fit of it because it curves around my ears perfectly. And then this is with the AirPods or AirPods. So this doesn't fit in my ear as well as the Samsung Buds Plus. I will be doing a long-term review, so I'll talk about it more in depth down the road as I wear it more often. Now that I've converted over to AirPods, I have no more experience of lagging. I can wear them when I'm editing, which is honestly really nice because in my household, in the past month, all of my family members were home, so it did get a little loud, and it was really nice to have the AirPods with the active noise cancellation. And when there's audio playing in the AirPods, you honestly don't hear any background noise or any people in you know your house or even the gym I've also worn it to the gym this past week and I don't hear any you know weights dropping people breathing or any background noise I really am secluded into my own space so having active noise cancellation has been really nice plus when I was at the gym my sister was calling me as well and I was honestly whispering because I didn't know how loud I was being so I, so I didn't want to talk too loud but while I was talking to my sister she did not have any troubles 
you know, hearing me or understanding what I was saying. She honestly heard me perfectly well. So it goes to show that the audio quality is pretty good and decent with the range from the ear tip to your mouth. Guys, the quality with the spatula audio is so rich. I can hear all the chords in the background, all the instruments, the bass in the AirPods is really good, but it's not too strong where it gives you a headache, but enough for you to feel the beats in the background, plus the vocals just cut through. It's so crisp, it's very clear. I highly like, I honestly like the audio in the AirPods better than the Samsung. The Samsung is honestly decently fine. You're not gonna have any trouble, but with the extra sense of detail, the, you know, hearing all the chords in the background, the instruments, it just makes the experience a lot more immersive and you just feel really immersed into the music. I'm currently filming on my iPhone 12 Pro with the AirPods Pro 2 audio. Let me know your thoughts on the quality of the audio. Overall, every time I use it on a call, I have no issues with hearing the person I'm talking to and vice versa. I actually used it at the gym as I mentioned a few minutes ago, but when I was at the gym, I was whispering because I didn't know how loud I would be. So when I was talking with my sister, she had no issues hearing me and I had no issues hearing her as well. So that was my whole unboxing of the AirPods, upgrading from the Samsung Buds Plus. What a huge upgrade, because even those ones are pretty old and outdated. I don't even know if Samsung offers them anymore, but I'm still gonna keep them. I honestly love the color. I wish AirPods would come up with more colors, like iPhones, like they have a bajillion colors for iPhones, but not AirPods. They definitely should do it in the future. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed my unboxing and review. More videos to come, like I said, a day in the life battery drain and long-term review so definitely subscribe for that if you're interested if this video helped you out or you enjoyed it definitely stop that like button for me I would totally appreciate it however that is it for me and I'll see y'all in the next one peace